Hi, I am Maya. I moved to Portugal last fall and now I am living in the woods alone in a remote place facing a beautiful river. Join me as I tackle the wilderness and face the challenges of living off-grid. So this is the first time for me on this land. It's very wild. Every square meter that you can walk on is a win. But I really like the peacefulness of this place. And because you have so many trees, it's a lot cooler than in the villages. It was so overgrown that we could never access it. And I'm super excited about all the plants and trees and the water that's happening there. I'm starting to clean the lowest terrace. A friend of mine, Jack, is helping me to strim another terrace. I only have a very small saw, but it's working very well. I'm amazed how much you can take down with such a small saw. Apparently the saw was not good enough for the mimosas, these trees that are growing everywhere. Oh my god, the saw just broke! But hey, I can still use it, it's still working, so I just continue. Next time I will take a bigger saw. Yeah, I know that feeling, yeah. We just finished cleaning this wall, as far as we can get now. It's so interesting how they used to build it on top of the rocks. And now these trees are growing into the wall. Two minutes ago we had some rain and now it's already looking like that. Behind there will be the way to the swimming pool. This is how it looks when you come up the stairs. Will we find the secret swimming pool? Yes, we found it. Here we go. This swimming pool is not a swimming pool yet. Do you have any idea how to make it waterproof? I think it comes out there at the bottom. So if you fix the bottom there, then it will be full and overflowing with water. This would be so nice to swim here to take a bath in the middle of the forest, nobody seeing you. And the water is really cold, so it's gonna be super nice. I'm really excited about this place. This is the middle terrace, the biggest one. There is my cowboy jack. We got done quite a lot today. I'm very thankful that Jack was trimming and I was cutting down, taking out all the branches, the thorns and putting them on piles. It was a productive day, teamwork. We got hit by the rain once. It was very wet and it lasted for about 10-15 minutes and then afterwards it was completely sunny again. So very weird Portuguese weather. 
There's some more coming up, but the plants really need it. Good morning. I'm at a friend's place and they have a beautiful view over the lake. It's my favorite place. I just saw that there are cherries. They are almost ripe. Oh my god, these are actually so good. Hi, oh, little guy. Hello, little guy. You are so shiny. You want a cherry? Do you want a cherry? We have summer now? I think so. Best summer ever. Today I'm going to help a friend to paint the wooden beams to secure them from insects with a special kind of oil. So I'm gonna oil some beams. I love doing that. Ah, let's go! Good morning! It's a beautiful Sunday morning and I'm just taking the time to go for a swim down at the lake. shows up. This is where it's going down. So this is actually a river dam. So the water naturally used to be much lower and now there's a big dam just a kilometer down there. You can see the lines of the trees. That's where the water could have been in the past. This lake is really refreshing. I just have it for myself this morning. Hello little flowers. Good morning. actually not that cold now that I'm used to swimming in the river. I feel so refreshed and free after this. Well this looks steeper than it actually is. It is quite steep. It's a little fitness in the morning. Bye my dear lake. Time. Thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe to this channel to see more of my adventures in Portugal.